In this session, we are going to write our first Gherkin scenario. And before we do that, let us understand what is Gherkin. In simple words, it is a language that is used inside a feature file. Now, what is a feature file? In BDD, whatever behavior we describe for a particular application feature, we describe it through some scenarios. And what is the reason for that? The main concept over here is we should have concrete requirements in place. Before we write any code, we should have concrete requirements written somewhere on the basis of which we will write the code afterwards. So that is the first layer or the face of the Cucumber project. That is a feature file which contains requirements in the simple English format. But this is a language that is called as Gherkin. Now over here, let's create some behavior. Let's say I'm on eBay homepage and when I click on this advanced button, the home page should navigate to advanced search page. That's the simple behavior I'm writing over here. So to write it inside the feature file, the first thing is what this is about and the heading of the file. The heading of the file generally written with a keyword that is called as feature. Okay, it's there are like five main keywords which we are going to learn today. One is feature, which describes what this whole file is about. Okay, what this whole file is about. This is about eBay home features. So we're going to say eBay home page scenarios. Okay, that's this first thing feature keyword. Now inside this feature file, we'll write multiple scenarios. The first scenario that we just talked about is, is let's say checking the advanced search. So we can say This scenario is about advanced search link on the home page. Now to describe this scenario, we have three or maybe four keywords, which are called as steps. They are written by something called as given, when, and, and then. There are like four main keywords, which we will be using. Given when, there is also something called as and, and there is something called as then. So over here, given is always used to specify what is already given, what is a prerequisite. When is used to describe what is the action being taken. And can be used with addition to when. And also it can be used in addition to then also. So and just describes an ending operation. If there are multiple when operations or multiple then, then to combine we use and and then is a validation point like when i perform a certain action what am i going to accomplish that's the then thing so over here when we describe this scenario simply i would say something like given i'm on ebay homepage right that's the first thing that's the prerequisite what is the action the action was when i click on advanced link Hey guys, if you like these videos, you may also like my fully fledged courses on Java, Selenium and Cucumber BDD. Links are given in the description. So do check out. So let's go back and write our step when I click on advance link. And there are no multiple actions over here. So we don't have to use and in this case. We can simply jump to then, then what I'm going to validate, I'm going to validate the URL of the next page, or let's say title of the next page. So simply I can say, then I navigate to advanced search page. So that's my then, then I navigate to advanced search page. Simple, this is the simple, scenario which describes the behavior that is expected now when we write the requirements which such concrete nature which is simple easy to understand english there is very less chance of conflict in between developers and the stakeholders or whoever is creating those requirements that is the most important thing in cucumber writing these gherkin scenarios and then for each of these steps which are writing inside a gherkin scenario we will have a 
code associated with that we will have a step definition associated with that which we'll talk about in the next session in this session what we saw we saw five important keywords first is feature which describes what this feature file is all about then inside a feature file we can have multiple scenarios so we have a scenario keyword which talks about what this scenario is about then third thing is what is the prerequisite you know, every scenario has something assumed some assumption something already given that's the given keyword then what are the actions that we're going to do that will come as part of when and what is the validation that we are doing that will come as part of then if we have multiple actions we can just and this over here if we have multiple validations we can also and them over here okay if required if required in this case we do not need this and so we can just take it out so in total five keywords most important now after a feature keyword we need a colon after a scenario keyword we need a colon but after given when then and keywords we do not need a colon okay this or these keywords are case sensitive so we have to write them in the same way that i'm writing them okay this f should be in the uppercase s uppercase so these are case sensitive important so this is how we write gherkin scenarios we'll write a lot of them as we proceed in the next session we'll understand how we write step definitions for these gherkin steps